Three lawmakers are considering a controversial policy. It's aimed at reducing the spread of disease and also helping people get free of addiction. But critics believe needle exchange programs actually increase illegal drug use. Joe McLean has our report. Those generally opposed to needle exchange programs say they're worried that it actually increases drug use by making it easier to get the tools to do it. But recovery experts say nobody gets their first needle from an exchange program. And they also say that addicts typically don't want to stay addicts. On Wednesday, the Missouri Legislature's Substance Use, Prevention and Treatment Task Force met to get an update on all the ways state agencies are fighting addiction and working to provide resources to those in recovery. Chairman John Black, a Republican, said the state isn't focusing enough on prevention. If the department has recommendations with regard to the prevention side, we would like to hear about that. One recommendation raised was allowing more needle exchange programs in Missouri, which are typically aimed at stopping the spread of transmitted diseases, but also... So as individuals are able to access those services, they're more likely to access services like um, substance abuse treatment services, healthcare services, um, other testing, so that they're, you know, as, as they have a welcoming place to come in, you know, they are more willing to try to stop using. And that aspect is something Chairman Black told me he actually had never considered. I didn't realize that until you start to hear the description of the problem and how that can be a more comprehensive approach to the problem. Opponents to these programs worry they project an acceptance of drug use and worry that providing needles will lead to increases in dangerous habits. But NIH research shows these programs don't lead to an increase in either first-time drug users or to a rise in community drug use. Studies out of Baltimore and New York City also suggest that they don't lead to an increase in crime. But Representative Black said for Republicans to get behind such a program, they need to see specifics. We need as much detail as we can get, uh, because if you just leave it to the, the task force to dream up some sort of recommendation, it's probably not going to be as targeted or as effective as it should be. The information lawmakers get through this group's work will help them write state laws ahead of the next legislative session. In Jefferson City, Joe McLean, KY3 News.